Boomerang No. 1 Youth Cafe opened its doors in February 2010 with the main aim of creating a facility for young people, which they can identify as their place in an area which at the moment has no other immediately recognisable youth facility. The rationale underpinning the project is based on research which shows that by being involved with activities and groups within their own communities, local youth experience an increase in confidence, skills, sense of belonging and responsibility which in turn brings benefits to the whole community, increasing community capacity and thus promoting community regeneration. The Youth Cafe works with young people aged 8 to 16 years and aims to promote healthy lifestyles and positive change by reducing risk behaviours and associated harm. The Youth Cafe is situated in an ideal place right opposite the local secondary school near to the local park and in an area that was considered a hotspot for youth disturbances. Initially we were offering a drop-in for the 12 plus age group, however it became apparent to us that there was a need in the community for a similar provision for the 8 to 11 years age range. Thus we developed two separate clubs, one for primary 4 to primary 7s and the other for S1 plus. We started opening two evenings a week offering drop-in sessions and due to the success of the project in consultation with young people we have gone on to develop further sessions over the past two years. The older group, the number one youth club, has three evening drop-in sessions. The number one youth cafe boasts two pool tables, two widescreen TVs with an Xbox and Wii, football tables, selection of board games and DVDs and we operate a tuck shop. We also have sofas and benches and access to TV and music for a more relaxed time. Some areas of the space have been designed and decorated by the young people with the help of local graffiti artist Ian Tayak. The club is a great alternative to this age group hanging out on the street corners, having nothing to do and potentially getting into trouble with the police. The younger group, the Boomerang group, also opens as a drop-in two evenings a week and offers the same activities as the number one group as well as an additional two clubs, the health club and an art club. The Health Club encourages the young people to think about a healthy diet and lifestyle. This has taken the form of physical activities such as rounders and other outdoor games, as well as healthy eating activities such as smoothies. We were awarded an NHS grant to buy Smoothie Maker and a weekly supply of fruit for three months. The fruit was used during the Health Club as well as being offered during the other groups as a healthy snack. The fruit went down remarkably well to the surprise and delight of the staff. We had an NHS practitioner also come in to do a session on nutrition. The art club undertakes a range of activities from painting, clay modelling to playing pictionary and a variety of drawing games to craft and design. A mixture of one session activities and longer term projects keep the club varied and exciting for the young people who take part. In addition we offer a Saturday morning media group for 10 to 15 year olds for those interested in being a star in front of the camera and are learning how things can be made behind the camera. A new project takes place every month and these have included Answer Me This, in which the young people practice their interviewing and presenting techniques while asking members of the community questions of their own design, and The Noise We Make, where the young people made a song with no instruments, using only the building and objects within it as instruments, turning noises into beats and their own words into lyrics. New videos are going up on Boomerang's YouTube channel all the time. A new group that has started recently is an after-school girls group for girls aged S1 to S4. In these sessions we have been doing non-cooked baking, a variety of crafts such as jewellery making and are currently attempting to make our own beauty products. We have been very lucky to have some volunteers attend to share their skills with the girls such as a beauty therapist who painted the girls' nails and someone to show us how to use essential oils and natural products to make creams etc. We have also organised parties and trips for the young people such as to pantomimes and a residential weekend to Loch Lomond. Each evening is facilitated by two youth workers and we currently have four regular volunteers. We have had a variety of other volunteers and professionals attend to provide extra activities such as media projects. The project calls on the high student population and local residents to become volunteers within the area where their many and varied skills are utilised to fire the imagination of the young people, prompting discussion and a willingness and hunger to learn new skills. Boomerang is continuing the process of establishing a variety of measures that encourage and support the active involvement of young people in influencing youth work and their involvement within the community. This project gives the young people the ideal platform to showcase the extent of their skills and thoughts through a variety of projects. The project supports young people in gaining an understanding of local community, health needs and risk behaviour issues. As well as working alongside the young people and volunteers, we have made links with other organisations and professional workers and have been involved in various community events such as the annual celebration in the park. 
Our aim is to continue to make these links and involve ourselves further in the community. Overall, we've had great success with the Youth Cafe and the response to the Youth Cafe by the young people, local community and local organisations has been very positive.